Welcome back. You're watching Business Morning on Channels Television. Let's talk to Rotsumi Fakaijo, who is a trader and CEO of Enterprise Stockbrokers. He's joining us from downtown Custom Street. A good morning to you, Rotsumi. It's great to have you join me on the program this morning. Talk to us a little bit about the state of the market. Um, coming in from last week, investors were mostly mixed on the equities market and, of course, it's not unconnected to the fact that there was a treasury bills auction and a bonds auction. But for today, how are the equities shaping up? Well, the market has started and uh, trading, uh, continuous trading is already going on. Uh, but uh, we haven't done much this morning. We've only done a value of 64 million uh, after trading 40 million shares. And uh, the initiative initiates uh, the, uh, the part, I mean, the initiate that particular company, actually the one that is trending the volume chart, mm -hmm. having traded over 6 million units. And uh, at this time, uh, the market is trading practically flat, 0 0.00% flat. Talk to us a little bit about what's going on with the consumer goods. Nigerian breweries continues to take a heating from investors, and that's also contributed to the lackluster movement of the index as closing from next week. Is the consumer goods index still looking very favorable? Do you think investors will continue to actively trade in these shares on the Nigerian Stock Exchange? Uh, well, I think uh, we saw... Uh, a stability in the price of uh, nesting last week and uh, uh, to an extent. And uh, also we see a flip-flop attitude in the pricing of uh, Nigerian dairy. And uh, at 115 now, I believe to an extent, if you look at it over time, that price seems to be very attractive. But there is a lot of uh, uh, skepticism uh, concerning the results that may be hitting the market any moment from now. And I think that is actually putting everybody on the spot. So that's the reason why we are having some uh, investors' uh, aversion to that particular sector at this time. But Nigerian breweries, at the price that it is, is it adequately, is it properly priced? Uh, well, I think uh, for the kind of return that we've we'll seen in 10 parts, at least uh, doing about uh, 3 to 4% dividend yields. And for that particular sector, we can say it's not, uh, the, the pricing is not as of peace. And for what the country is now, the inflation rate and all of that, I want to, I'm even of the opinion that there should be, there should be some repricing of the securities in the market. We've seen the exchange uh, rate goes diving and also the inflation rate on the, on the upward swing. Mm. So I believe that uh, the, the prices in Nigerian, or the Nigerian stock exchange, is the only one that is going in opposite direction to every other thing in Nigeria. So for Nigerian dollars, I don't really think is uh, under price. I mean, it's overpriced at this level. I believe that we can still do better than this when we see the figures coming. So, Rosemary, for you today, we will, should we expect to see uh, some major movement in the market? Although some analysts still say that. Uh, they're going to expect, they're expecting a volatile trend in the equities market. Is it going to be that way today and probably for the rest of the week? Uh, well, I think for last week, we saw two days of gain and three days of losses. But uh, today, the way it's starting at a very slow pace, pace like this, we may not even go up to a billionaire naira value of transaction. But with respect to how it may go, it depends solely on uh, how uh, Nigerian dairy trend in the market today. So it could be either way. What about the banking stocks? Uh, well, I think uh, for them, the, the, the big uh, players among them, the likes of GT and Zenith and the UBA, I don't really think there will be much to their pricing today. So we also have them stable. So the only determinant would definitely be the consumer goods sector. All right, Rosemi, thank you so much for joining us on the program this morning and, of course, uh, giving us a sense of where the market is in early trade, in pre-open trade at the Nigerian Stock Exchange. Rosemi Fakaijo, an equity trader with the Nigerian Stock Exchange and CEO of Enterprise Stock Brokers.